Well, we're walking about looking at perennials this week, kind of give you an idea of what's looking good for shipments. Check out these. These are uh, Hackenaloa all gold. Very nice. Well, we have some great looking, uh, this is Salvia May Night. And uh, it's in full bloom right now. It looks great. Looking at some bud and bloom plants, and this is a hardy agapanthus called Summer Skies. And you can see these really nice full buds getting ready to open. Gorgeous hardy plant. Here we're looking at a block of uh, Allium, and this is Millennium. And uh, very nice full plants here. Allium Millennium. We're looking at a bench, and these are uh, Sunny Bonaire Oriental Lilies. And a really nice bud set on them. This is one you want to definitely get them in. They're going to pop out in the heat next week and be fantastic on the bench. Sunny Bonaire. Looking at a bench, this is a Mangay Bloodsport. And uh, you can see here, these are really nice full plants, and we got a great value on them. We've got some great color. This is uh, Euphorbia Ascot Rainbow. Really nice, 19 centimeters. And this gorgeous block we got here is a Delasperma Fire Spinner. And they're just starting to show some color in the buds. Beautiful full plants. Here we're looking at a great Leucanthemum uh, that's bud and bloom right now. This is Leucanthemum Snow Lady. Here we have some really great sedums. This is part of the Sun Sparkler series and this is Lime Zinger. Beautiful full 19 centimeters. Very drought tolerant plant. Awesome. Lime Zinger. Here I'm in a house that's got some really nice 19 centimeter asters and this one is uh, Purple Dome. And uh, they're just getting ready to throw a flower bud. You can see here, beautiful full 19 centimeters. This is Aster Purple Dome. Here we're looking at our Echinacea, and I've got some really nice Echinacea Julia. And you can see here, their bud and bloom looking sensational. Here I'm coming across a block, and this is a very uh, drought tolerant plant with a lot of color. This is uh, Delosperma, and this is Desert Garnet. Here we have uh, Sedum Autumn Fire. And uh, these are really nice, 19 centimeters. Again, a very drought tolerant plant, and they're gonna they're gonna throw some flower here in a, in a few weeks. Uh, really nice plants, though. See them on. This is a very unique allium from in the Plants at Work group, and this is Blue Eddy. Well, we got uh, another nice perennial for next week. It'd give you a nice summer blue color, and this is uh, Provoscia, and this is Pika Blue. We have uh, Nahofia, and this is the Popsicle series, and this is Mango. And uh, they're going to start throwing uh, flower spikes here pretty soon. You can see here down in this plant, the spikes starting to shoot up. These are gorgeous. Nahofia. Mango. I'm in a house with uh, Stochesia, and these are purple parasol. And uh, look at the bud set on these. Very nice full plants. I have a house. This is straight Provoscia. And uh, nice full tall plants. And again, this is going to give you a good blast of that blue flower in the summer. Walking into some of our hosta houses, and I wanted to show you the uh, hostas here. We're looking at uh, Francais, very full, 19 centimeters. This pretty uh, green and yellow variegated is hosta stained glass. And these beautiful blue hosta we have here is Crosa Regal. We've got the nice sunny yellow, and these are August Moon. Here we have an awesome variegated, and this one has a lot of uh, color because of the, the nice thick margins on the leaf. This one is Patriot. I'm walking up to a bed of uh, Hosta Ciboliana elegans, and uh, we have some bud and bloom on them. And uh, we'll look at the plants here. They're nice, big, full 19 centimeters. Really nice statement plant in the landscape in a shade garden. Well, if you don't have room for a big Hosta, you might want to try this. This is Rainforest Sunrise. It's a new variety. And you can see here it's got the nice variegation. These are gorgeous plants. Looking at another short stature plant, and you can see the nice tight compact habit. This is hush puppies. And uh, this one would be great in a small garden or even a container. There's another iris coming in the bloom, and this is iris versicolor, and this is part of the American Beauties program. Really nice full plants, perfect bud and bloom. Iris versicolor. What a great crop of ostrich ferns in 19 centimeters. Here's an iris that gives you a lot of color. This is iris variegata, and uh, it'll start to bloom here shortly, but the foliage is just outstanding. Here I'm walking into our stilby area, and I'm looking here. This is a stilby bridal veil. Really big plants and a sensational value. Bud it off, getting ready to show that color. Looking at uh, Salvia East Friesland, and it's uh, bud and bloom prime right now. Block of new Astilby, and this is unique pink. 
and you can see the nice tight compact plants and they're just loaded with flowers I'm kinda panning through here to show you our daylilies and uh, these gorgeous full plants are in 19 centimeter pots and as you can see here they're full multi-division plant and they got that big picture tag which extends that shelf life for you these are the twice as nice daylilies